Hi there. Now for this last part, we're given that R, which was the point where the two tangents met, lies on the directrix of the curve C, the parabola C, with this equation y squared equals 4ax. And now we've got to find the value of PQ for two marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment then to pause the video. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. I'll take you through the work solution, but you might want to fast forward just to check out the answer. Now, let's just draw that graph back again of our curve y squared equals 4ax. We've got the tangent here at the point p with coordinates ap squared 2ap. And now I'm going to add to this the point q. And let's just say q is here. We'll put that in. Q has coordinates then AQ squared and 2AQ. And we've got these two tangents then. We'll draw the tangent in at Q. It's going to look, say, something like that. And these two tangents intersect at this point R. And this point R is on the directrix. Now, the directrix, if I mark it in, is going to be a line parallel to the y-axis. OK, and it's going to pass through R. Now, we should be familiar with what the equation of the directrix is. The directrix always has, let's just write it over here, directrix always has the equation x equals minus a. So if x equals minus a and R lies on it, then the coordinates, the x coordinate of R was APQ. So therefore, APQ must equal minus A. And so dividing both sides by A gives us the result for PQ. Find the value of PQ, it's minus 1. OK, 